Good Lord, it's not even the Super Bowl, and now we're talking about Tom Brady to the 49ers? This offseason's going to be wild. Welcome back to another episode of Shifty's 49ers Talk. It's your boy Shifty. This one goes out to Niner fans near, far, NFL fans, sports fans. You are all welcome here. Today we are talking about the rumors, the social media chit-chat about Brady possibly coming to the 49ers. So what I want to answer in this video are a number of questions. Number one, what would a trade for Tom Brady look like? Number two, what would that mean for the team in 2022? Number three, what would that mean for Trey Lance? And then number four is basically what I want it to happen and do I think it will happen? So let's get into it right now. What would a trade for Tom Brady to the 49ers look like? Well, there's a lot of different trade scenarios and what have you that you could potentially come up with. But the one that made the most sense to me was something that I read on Twitter, which someone potentially suggested uh, is trade Jimmy Garoppolo from the 49ers to the Buccaneers. Of course, then Tom Brady's rights, because he has retired, but his rights would then go to the 49ers. And then maybe the 49ers also receive like a middle to late round pick. To me, this makes a lot of sense for both sides because the Buccaneers, look, if Brady's retired and he's done, they need a new quarterback. They are very much in a win-now mode, having gone to the NFC Divisional round this year and then winning the Super Bowl last year. So they don't want to rebuild and have to start maybe with a rookie quarterback. Um, as for the 49ers, you know, if you can get the best quarterback of all time, and yes, I'm saying best quarterback of all time, despite me clearly back here, you can see that I'm a huge Joe Montana fan, but Brady's the GOAT. Um, but if you can get him on the team for one year, uh, that could be awesome. That could potentially get us our six Lombardi. And you know that Brady, growing up a 49er fan, would love to end his career in, with the 49ers and winning a Super Bowl, go out on top. So, uh, yeah, that would be the, uh, I think, the trade compensation for, uh, for Tom Brady. So what would acquiring Tom Brady mean for just our team as a whole? Well, look, we all know that Jimmy Garoppolo, uh, he wins. He's definitely a winner in the NFL, and he has amazing leadership. I think the only guy who you could say is for sure above that would be Tom Brady. I mean, of course, the guy just, he's won like how many Super Bowls at this point? Um, and just his leadership is second to none. So bringing in Tom Brady, you know what you're going to get in terms of the locker room. But I think the biggest impact that Tom Brady would have would be in playoff performance. So Garoppolo, yes, he's won a lot of games in the regular season for us and his win percentage is really, really impressive. But I think the biggest difference would be how we perform in terms of passing the ball in the playoffs because you know, you could come up with reasons and excuses, but overall Garoppolo in the playoffs has been very, very underwhelming and probably a reason why we didn't win the Super Bowl against the Chiefs and why we couldn't beat the Rams, why, you know, we fell apart later on against the Cowboys and why the Packers, we the offense just did nothing all game long. You know, again, look, I'm not saying it's all on Garoppolo while the passing game didn't succeed, but you bring in a guy like Brady with the weapons that we have, and I think our playoff performance, you know, if you can have, like, an incredibly strong passing game to match our effective run game, wow, I think that would be really, really impressive. So to me, the biggest impact that he would have on the team would be in terms of playoff performance and possibly Super Bowl. <laughs> So what would trading for Tom Brady mean for Trey Lance? Well, look, we obviously gave up a ton of draft capital to get Trey Lance. I do firmly believe that he is the future of this franchise. Look, Trey got to sit for a whole year, and I think that was the general plan. Look, have Trey come in, have him sit for a year, learn the offense, learn the scheme, you know, learn how to be an NFL quarterback, to practice like an NFL quarterback. And he was able to do that, and also to watch a guy like Jimmy Garoppolo, where say what you will about Jimmy Garoppolo on the field and like the mistakes and the bad throws that he'll make, but Jimmy Garoppolo is a fantastic leader, you know, someone who's 
just leads the team and you can tell all the players that come out speaking about Jimmy Garoppolo. So Trey Lance knows if he can emulate that, that would be massive. So what would happen then if Tom Brady came in? Well, if Brady came in, I absolutely believe it would be a one year deal basically just to be one and done you know he gets to play for his hometown team and hopefully bring back a Lombardi trophy so that would mean that Trey Lance would sit for another year um, look if you can learn from the GOAT I'm not saying that's a bad thing at all but at some point look we have to see what Trey Lance can do on the field if you look at Green Bay right now they have a first round quarterback Jordan Love who's been sitting for two years and they have no clue what they have in him look also I mean the flip side of that is like we took Trey Lance with the third overall pick and gave up a bunch of draft capital, whereas the Packers, I think they took Jordan Love maybe 25th or 26th overall, so even if he kind of busts out or whatever, it's not as huge a deal, but with Trey, I mean, you have the two schools of thought. If he could learn, sit and learn for another year from Tom Brady, you could argue, hey, that would be also good for his development, but then the other school of thought is, look, you got to play. At some point, to know what you got in a player and just to see like it's fine to be in practice and in like the film room and all that stuff but at the end of the day you have to play so and look let's not also forget that Trey Lance didn't play his last year in college he played one game his last year in college because he sat out primarily to do with COVID so you know if you if he sits another year that could be potentially three years where he plays little to no football in terms of like live real football not practice or not preseason or anything like that so um yeah it's a uh, it's up for debate for sure so for the last part of this video i want to talk about do i think it will happen and then do i want it to happen so do i think it will happen most likely not like trades like this are not very common so just by percentages or by the odds, it would be pretty unlikely. Um, so I don't think it will actually happen. But I think the bigger question here is, do I would I want it to happen? And God, I'm really torn on this one. And I actually looking through like Twitter, like 49ers Twitter, it seems like the fan base is pretty torn on it too. So I would say I would want it to happen if it was basically Tom Brady's like one year and then I'm done because look, we have to find out what we have in Trey Lance and Trey Lance is potentially going to be the guy who's here for the next 15 plus years or so. So look, if Brady, I'll say this, I would want it to happen if Brady is like, I'll do it for one year at a pretty reduced salary because look, I want to try and win a Super Bowl for my childhood hometown team. Look, Brady's made millions and millions of dollars, even though look, in fairness to Brady throughout his career, he's taken under market value uh, in terms of contracts and money, but just like you know, endorsements and everything. Like money is not a huge thing for Brady. So look, if we can get him at a reduced contract, which would allow us to re-sign our free agents and make the appropriate extensions. And if it's for one year, I would actually say go for it. But uh, if Brady's like gonna be like, oh, maybe a couple years, or if he's gonna demand a crazy amount of money, that would potentially cost us, you know, bringing back a number of key free agents or making extensions, then I would probably say no. But overall, it's a, you know, I, again, the first part of this section is that I don't think it will happen, but it's certainly a fun one to debate for sure. So uh, I'd love to hear all of your guys' comments down below about whether you think Brady should be a 49er, whether you think it will happen, what it could cost. And uh, yeah, so uh, guys, I'm going to have some videos coming out soon. I'm also going to be uh, doing a live stream with 49ers Ultimate Report uh, at 5 p.m. Pacific time today, which is February 10th. And uh, you know, after that, there's two things I'm going to say. The butt counts, and I'm going to catch y'all on the flip side.